What's going on guys, it's Snoob603 for Shusty Bang, and I'm just going to do a quick video of what is one of the most hardest things about getting into a new game, is figuring out the menu system. Uh, this was actually a very popular video with other games we did, so I figured, you know what, Crisis 3 seems like it's going to be a really popular game. This is what I'm going to do to help you guys just kind of make the process a little bit quicker, so there's no guessing work. So, without further ado, the very first thing you need to do, or that you want to learn because you're not going to be able to get uh, customized equipment available right away, hit select. This is where you create your squads, invite your friends, and, you know, set up your squads and stuff, and then go into a game. So it's real simple. If I want to invite Dunkasaurus, just hit X, and then if he were actually in the game, I could, it wouldn't just say player profile, it would say invite squad and stuff. Um, and then at the top you can see Snoop Cisco 3 squad. Anyone that joins in, you'll be there. Squad invites, you are one over. I'm doing all this on PlayStation 3 just to make it clear for anyone who doesn't realize it. Um, you would see any invites you get there and the recent players if you're playing the game. Very, very simple, very straightforward. It's as easy as that. So again, hit select and you get to where you need to invite friends. Okay, so other than that, we have player profile if you choose to go through here. So this is where you'd see your leaderboards, you can see your overall score, uh, kills, KDR, accuracy, wins, kill skills, things like that. Oh, sorry, also you can update your clan tag if you so choose, but not a big deal. Um, let's see, if you hit start, these are your challenges, and this is kind of similar to, I believe it was Black Ops 1, where you could go through and, and do different challenges, and I think you had to pay for them. Uh, it's been a little while since I played it, so I'm sorry, I don't remember specifically what happens, but you can activate certain challenges, and if you do get it done, you get extra XP, so that's nice. If you're willing to give it a shot, maybe not the first couple times you play it, but as you get acclimated to the game, you want to activate these things, because as you're going through and just playing it anyway, you get the extra XP, which is going to help you level up faster and get the things that you want. So, most important, play, uh, customize equipment. This is your class selection, where you customize everything. It is not available right off the bat. You do have to rank up. It is, I believe rank 5 is when you unlock it. Here is where you get to create all your classes. You have 5 classes that you get to use. Uh, I So far, I've created an Assault, an LMG, an SMG. I haven't done anything with 4 or 5, because really, I've just been rocking the Assault. A little bit of the LMG, but it's a bit different. So anyway, it's all right here for you. Your primary in the top left, your secondary bottom left your grenade top right, and then your three perks, if you will, uh, but they're modules down the bottom right. So, I'm on the gun, I can hit X to customize, I'm not sure what it is on other consoles or platforms, but in any case, on PS3, hit X. Here you can search any weapon that you want. Uh, I'm using the Scarab Mod 2, which is the first assault carbine that you get unlocked when you start the game. Hit X again, you can go ahead and change any of your sight. Um, I really don't have anything unlocked, <laughs> uh, but you've got your scope, Hit X again, you can see his iron sight, reflex, assault, so on and so forth. Back out, you go over, you can update your barrel. I don't have anything really unlocked, I haven't put that much time into the game yet. And then last but not least is under barrel, foregrip, extended mag, hologram, mini typhoon, and gauss attachment. I probably mispronounced that, I apologize. And then even weapon skins, cell or standard, I like the cell because it just looks good. But it's simple as that, um, you know, you go in, I'll back out again, so customize equipment. You can see I'm on my primary gun, so hit X again. And then select the gun you want one more time, and then boom, you can select your scope, your barrel, and your underbarrel. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Saving your secondary, doesn't really change. You've got scope, barrel, underbarrel, which I'm actually kind of shocked. Not that there's a whole lot to choose from, but there you go. You can even customize that. Grenades, well, that's pretty much it. You can choose whatever you want. Now, your perks, this is where it gets a little interesting. It's actually very, very straightforward. You know, you can see, so I've got under our auto armor selected, and it tells you exactly what it does. Automatically activ activate armor mode when taking damage. Very similar to BF3 uh, with their squad specializations. Gives you a very short description of what it does. Very, very simple, straightforward. Again, that's it. That's all there is to it. You can hit square to rename your class. Again, in this case, I named it Assault. Doesn't get any easier than that, guys. Uh, and seriously, I mean, that's it. You can go to settings. This is where you can change your... Um, pretty much everything, obviously. But you can change your sensitivity and controller options i've got it at 50 which is actually pretty snappy uh there are other games like dust 514 i've got it cranked i've got it at 100 and it still feels slow 50 is pretty fast it's actually faster than i play um for anything i play on battlefield 3 but that is it guys that's the whole multiplayer menu system in a nutshell that's a quick breakdown so when you get in if you so choose to play this game you know where everything is ahead of time i've taken the gas game out of it for you simple straightforward um if you guys really like some Crisis 3, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this. 
let me know what else you want to see. I already have a video planned out for tomorrow, and that's going to cover a lot more of the multiplayer aspects of this game. I appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a like, share it with your friends. I would appreciate it. Catch you guys next time.